Hey viewers, this is Sardi Geno, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to draw one of my characters, which is going to be Joplin Tornado this time, because it's one of the simplest characters that you can draw that I have made. So, here's your start on drawing a perfect chin. Basically, you just make a square like this, or a rectangle, like that. Just one straight line, another straight line like that. Just a regular rectangle. And a box like that. And now that you're finished with that, make two lines sloping diagonally like this in between the box. There you go. Now we just erase these corners over here. Like that. Now we look at where the erase lines used to be. And we just trace it out like that. It's okay to fill in the lines too to make it look a little bit bolder. And there we go. There's our chin. So that's the base for the face. Now we just make two lines representing the eyes. And then we just make it curve up. There we go. And then we do it like that. And those are your eyes. Now make eyebrows and put pupils. You can shade it in if you want in between the eyes. And there's your face. Now we make a mouth. If you want to put detail, you can just make two little like lines curving upwards and then we just make a mouth and if you want to make the mouth open you can just make the teeth at the top two teeth at the bottom and shade it in now we make the chin. And there's the basis for our face. Then we make the eye. And there you have it. That's the base for the face. Now we make his hairline, just like a bunch of half circles curving up. And then we draw spikes, that can be curvy. And there we have it. That's the base for the face.
Now that that's done, we make the neck and the body. You just make two little lines like this, representing a neck. And then make two lines curving toward each other. Like that. Then we shade in under the neck. And there's his neck. Now we make two little rhombuses for his shoulders. Like that. Now we make a body. Like a huge rhombus, but it doesn't meet with each other. The two sides don't meet. Like that. Now to make the abs, we just make two squares like this, overlapping each other. And there you have it. And we repeat that process and make the squares smaller each time. But not too small. And then we make the belly button just as an extra little detail. There we go. And that's the basis for his body. Now we make the arms. Two arms underneath the shoulders. If you don't want to put detail on the hands, you don't have to, but I'm going to put detail anyway. To make the hands, you just make, like, follow what I do, like that. And there's your hand. Then we make a little orb in the middle, and then make a little tornado, like that. And put a little details into the tornado, shade it in, and there you have it, the wind orb that he's holding. Wind orb. Make his other arm, extend his other arm, and if you want, you can make it a fist, but I'm also going to make it a hand. And there you go. All right, now we make his legs. It's like the same as the arms, but facing downwards. They also have knees. Almost the same. Like the same tactic. Don't make the legs look like sticks, otherwise he's going to be looking like a Roblox character. And then you make the feet. Like that, just put two lines. And there's your base for Joplin Tornado. Now we just shade it in. And I don't really have time to show you how long I'm going to shade it for. So I'm just going to cut the video right here and put it again. Now that my edit is done, I shaded it in. And there's your drawing right here.
Since Stop the Tornado is a wind creature, his skin color is gray, as well as his hair being gray. Just a light gray to represent a tornado. And that's how you